I, I remember when I was a small boy watching um, a BAFTA award and a winner of the uh, Best Actress came on and she said, being an actress, she said, and at this time being an actress was what I'd set my heart on. <laughs> she said, being an actress is about dreams. It's about holding on to your dreams. It's about believing in your dreams. It's about living your dreams. And one day those dreams will come true. And I remember thinking as I was leaning forward to vomit that <laughs> that, that was very odd because my dream was all about Starsky and Hutch eating my pyjamas and then suddenly turning into Virginia Wade. Um, and I've lived that dream. Uh, I've held on to it as the actress advised, but it has never come true. It once nearly came true, but it was Pam Shriver, not Virginia Wade. So it doesn't really count. I don't know if any of the following actresses have held on to similar dreams, but they're bloody good at their job and they all deserve a prize. They are Helen Mirren for Prime Suspect, Julian Stevenson for The Politician's Wife, Jennifer Ely, Pride and Prejudice, and Geraldine James for Band of Gold. She weighed seven pounds, ten ounces. And she had a mop of jet black hair. She had the tiniest fingers I'd ever seen. Even her fingernails were perfect. It was February 14th, Valentine's Day, when they took her away. Feelings. My feelings are. I'm ashamed to remember what I said then. My feelings are so different. In fact, they are quite the opposite. Did you find it? My present. Present? I left it on the side table. Give a wrap. Oh, you mean the black lace jewelry with the slit in the crown? <laughs> It's the first time in my life I've had the feeling that I don't want to get up, go to work. Don't want to screw up another relationship. This is the first time in my life I've ever felt like this. Tell me it's not going to happen. And the winner is Jennifer Ely for Pride and Prejudice. Jennifer Ely played Elizabeth Bennett in Pride and Prejudice. She had a passion for Mr. Darcy. She actually read the novel when she was 12 years of age. Wow. I've learned something very important today, and that is to try walking in your dress before you take it home. Um, you can watch me leave. Uh, this should really go to my wig, I think, but um, I'm very terrified to accept it on its behalf. And thank you very, very much. I would also like to thank Simon Langton and Sue Burtwistle and Andrew Davis and Philippa Hall for the wig and Colin Firth. Thank you very much. <laughs>